One even said 17 points. You know what that was doing? You interfered more with this election than the damn Russians had. Let me tell you, we're not going to stand for that. We're not going to back down. We're going to fight. We don't cut and run. We're going to fight. This is a battle cry. You're damn right. This is a battle cry. We have worked too hard and too long. And that Donald Trump has been fighting for every American. It didn't matter what your color was or your gender. And if he could put his life on the line. We love Trump. We love Trump. If he could put. <laughs> we love Trump. Okay. We love Trump. But if Donald Trump. If Donald Trump and Kimberly and America, Doug Collins, all of them. But my point is America, my point is Georgia, that we believe in the process. But this process has been tainted. And if you taint it for one party, you taint it for the other party. If you taint it for one American, then you taint it for all Americans. And we're not going to stand for this. And you know who's another fighter that's coming here, that's here tonight? He, I don't know who fights the most, he, most him or his father. Yeah. That Don Jr., you don't want to be in a ring with Don Jr. He learned it from his daddy. But he cares, he cares about this state and he cares about this country. And they have a track record of, of resolving issues and addressing issues in the state of Georgia for every American. And so I want to say to the press, so you can get the word out right now, um, this is my last point. We ain't bullshitting. <laughs> Stacey Abrams, you want a fair fight? Bring it on. Bring it on. You've been, you've been like a, a vacuum cleaner, getting all of this underground money. We need to see where it's coming from and how you're spending it. But I know one thing, you're spending it on suppressing black people and other people. You're suppressing them. You know how you suppress them? Because you're intimidating people for having their individual thoughts and their individual concerns. And because they don't support your agenda, you don't want them to vote. You don't want them to come out and speak their minds. What you're trying to do is keep them on that plantation. All right, Vernon Jones uh, in Georgia. I want you to hear this. I want you to really hear this. If Joe Biden wins this election, there's going to be some payback. Not violence. Half of this country will believe that they cheated us out of this election. When Donald Trump became the duly president in, 2020, in 2016, 2020, from the deep state, deep state from the media and from the Democratic Party, they sought out to keep him from being in office, from impeachments to all kinds of nonsense. Russia, Russia, Russia was a lie and it was hoax and it was start, it was a hoax and it was started by Hillary Clinton. Yes. And the FBI and the Justice Department, they play their role in that too. Half of this country is not going to settle if Joe Biden wins. We would never accept those results because this process was too tainted. There was no transparency and no integrity in this whole entire process. So I'm telling you right now, we're putting you on notice. Now, I'm a Democrat. I, I'm not changing party because I want to still unravel the bigotry and the voter suppression and depression of African-American voters yeah. in the Democratic Party. I'm going to keep fighting that. And I'm going to fight every day that they become woke. But I'm telling you, Democrats, I want you to know we're on your ass.
Thank you everyone there, but thank you everyone here. Well, Vernon and Doug, thank you uh, for your incredible steadfast resolve as it relates to getting this right. And that's what we want. We do want a fair election. We want all legal votes counted. But it's shocking to me, you know, and I'll let you guys talk Georgia because you understand what's going on on the ground here. But I've been watching this all over the country. When I hear there's a deadline and then magically boxes appear later, we know that's against the law. But you get in front of a Democrat judge in a Democrat city with Democrat control and it's OK. Then before you can contest it, they throw those ballots in one big box. Now you can't tell which one is accurate and which isn't. I think the Democrats are used to this from a Republican Party that hasn't had a backbone. You're not going to see that this time around. That party is gone and anyone that doesn't fight like that should go with it. And I think I actually tweeted this earlier today, but when I look at these examples, and it's not just in Georgia, when I look at Philadelphia, I mean, think about it. They're putting up pizza boxes on windows to prevent people from watching. You have, you have James O'Keefe getting it on video where they're doing it in Michigan. You have example after example. Notice how it only breaks one way. So, so Donald Trump gets a historical percentage of minority votes and there are counties where between 75 hundred thousand in some cases i guess there was 123.5 thousand ballots show up not one single trump voter they also happen to be ballots that don't talk about any of the races other than president does anyone believe that this is possible because it's not it's a statistical impossibility and yet it's happening not just once but over and over again. This is the kind of nonsense that has to stop. When they're suing and a judge allows Republican watchers to come in and they say you have to stand 12 feet away, then they have to bring binoculars. They can't actually observe. Think about how insane that is. So they sue to get closer access. The Democrat Party then blocks watchers. They sue again to prevent people from being able to watch what's going on. I wonder why. I wonder why, because I can't think of a possible reason other than they plan on cheating, just like we've seen throughout the country where the Democrat big push for absentee ballots was to make sure that the signature on that ballot does not have to match the signature on the record of that voter. Can, ob obviously, obviously. And so when we see that, we assume what we've all known for so many years. But I think the number one thing that Donald Trump can do in this election is fight each and every one of these battles to the death so that we get full transparency in the process. And everyone on the Democrat side should welcome this unless they're actually cheating. Because if they're winning these things fair and square, then everyone would love to know that because me as an American, I'd like to know that because I've lost all faith in the process. Yeah. And when I see millions of Americans that feel the same way and have no faith in the process, just assume that, hey, guess what? You know those ballots are going to magically show up just like they did, right? You saw that line on the curve up north, you know, 100 percent of votes. We, I went to sleep. I woke up two hours later after not sleeping for three days. I said, that's amazing, 130,000 votes, not one of them for Donald Trump. No one, no one believes that this is real. And for us to have faith in the republic, we need transparency in the process. And so what I can promise you this is, everyone knows it, Donald Trump is a fighter. And we're gonna fight each and every one of these. Georgia, it's gonna be important. And I'm excited to have these guys on our team as well as Kelly Loeffler and the others that are gonna be coming down to be a part of this. David Perdue and Sonny Perdue, all of these people that are Georgia guys that understand what's happening here, they're a part of this team because guess what? You're gonna have another election here in about two months that could decide the fate of the United States Senate.
So we're going to be watching this nonsense because everyone knows what's going on. Everyone understands it. And the media who, let's not kid ourselves, have given up the pretense of objectivity to be cheerleaders for the left. They're going to go nuts. But Donald Trump is going to fight each and every one of these things so we have a fair election, regardless of that outcome. Americans need to know that this is not a banana republic. And right now, right now, right now, very few people have faith that that's not the case. That should scare all of us. It should scare all of us. If this was going on in another country, if this was going on in a third world country, they would be screaming to the high heavens. When it's happening right here in America, and not just in Georgia, but in all over the place, but primarily in Democrat cities with Democrat control, Democrat judges, this cannot be a one-sided system. This cannot be democracy only when we win. That doesn't work that way. We've been seeing it for far too long, and I think like many things, Donald Trump is gonna be the guy to open the door to get the transparency that America wants and that America and our democracy deserves. So thank you very much for being here. I look forward to being in the battle. It's gonna be a long and fun one. Thank you guys.